Top of the day, top of the noon, top of the morning to you lovers and friends. I wanted to give you guys a good example of how to make a hairstyle, um, a lock updo last for a couple of days. This style that I have in now has been up for five, about five days and I've grown quite stale of it. Plus I have a performance tonight so I was planning on taking some of it down to give it a different flair. So I'm going to just show you really quick what it looks like. So basically it's flat twisted on the side all the way to about right here is where all of my flat twists stop. And then the rest of it is two strand twisted and then I put a rubber band on the end of about three bundles of twist and then pin it up into an up style. So I'm going to show you how to take it down and I want you to see this is just three two strand twists pinned together bundled together and then you roll it into a little you know so I'm gonna take all the pins out basically anytime you two strand twist your hair and you don't want to wear your twist down you can take those twists and bundle them about three twists to a bundle and then take the bundles and just start pinning it into a cute little up style and it just gives you some versatility to it to a basic two strand twist so that you don't have to wear it all down if you don't want to. So see, now you see, those are my twists. So I'm just gonna pop the twist open. Some of them still got the rubber band at the bottom. <laughs> and let me be clear, because a lot of people pop twists open the wrong way. First of of all, when you're twisting hair, you want to try not to twist it to where you have to pick up pieces as you're going down to make it even on each side. You want to grab an equal amount with your bundles so that you can twist it all the way to the bottom in its original bundle because that's what makes a perfect twist. If you're picking up pieces along the way, it makes your ends frizzy when, when it's popped open. And that's on natural hair. When it comes to locks, you can do that. But I just wanted to tell you that for you ladies that have loose natural hair or got girlfriends. So see, when you pop a twist open, you should be able to grab it at the top of the twist and just separate it. If you gotta go through and actually pick it apart, that means you've been picking up pieces of hair as you go up the twist and that's not really the best way to do it like I said if you don't want your um, two strand your twist out when it's done to have frizz in it I think they're all popped loose and then I just kind of bust it up And I love me some Moroccan oil. I use it on my locks. Once your locks have been matured for about a year, sometimes a year and a half to two, depending on your loctician and what they say, that's when I say, okay, you can put some oil in it. My locks are interlocked, so it's just locked with just my hair. It's not cream or gel or wax or anything. It is interlocked, it's done with a tool. So what I do when I once I've taken my twist out now, and let me just say, the whole time your twist out is up. This is if you got locks or if you have loose natural hair. The whole time your twist out is up, you need to be putting oil on it each day. And you don't need a lot, literally. You just do one to two squirts, and that's it. Rub it in your hands and let your hair soak up the oil off of your hands. So you scrunch it in and just kind of lay it on your hair. And I like to scrunch in a little bit of oil because locks have a tendency 
to look dry. I live in Colorado. This is a, um, a desert territory, although it doesn't look like it because we have a lot of foliage. We have a lot of rivers and lakes and water that feeds our foliage here, but if we didn't have as much water um, in our ecosystem here, it would definitely look like Arizona, but we live in a desert territory. So whereas most people say with inner locks and sister locks, don't put oil on them, I tell my clients just the opposite. You need to put oil on them once they're mature enough to be oiled, and that is up to your loctician. For me, I tell my clients when it's time. But see how I just busted that up? And that's it. So I'll wear it like this for a few days, and then when I'm tired of this style, then I'll finish taking the rest of it down and it'll be crinkly and I'll wear it all big. And usually when I'm about to take this side down, the night before I'll go ahead and just retwist this because I'll wear this like this for about eh, three to five days and it'll start to drop and lose its curl and then I'll be ready to take the rest of it down. But if you want it to kind of match, the night before you're going to pop this open, you want to spray just a little bit of water on it and two strand or braid it and then pin it back up and that way the next day when you pop it open your whole um your whole do will be curled i love uniform chaos i tell my clients that all the time don't overthink it when you're doing your up styles just do it when you're doing those two strand pinups on your locks or your loose natural hair don't overthink it just two strand twist your hair grab it put it in about three um each, each bundle should have about three twists in it, it, depending on the size. If you're making smaller twists, of course, you're going to have more twists in it. Um, and then just start pinning it up once you put it in the ponytail bundles. You know, pin it up and play with it. If you don't like what you're seeing, move it around because it's all about movement, you know, and that way you figure out what fits your face. So I hope this has been somewhat helpful, okay? Y'all uh, take care, and I'll talk to you again. Look for me on Instagram. I'm Ghana Queen HQ on Instagram. And for my YouTube channel, I'm Ghana Queen. Peace, y'all. <laughs>